What's up guys, we are back again to another quick shocks tutorial. Amazon has recently introduced a new workflow for creating a shipment plan for sending inventory to the Amazon warehouse. So in this video, I'm going to navigate you through the process of how you can create a shipment plan using this new workflow. Alongside that, I'll be also discussing how you can create a shipment plan for multiple SKUs and what mistakes to avoid and how you should be able to print um, the labels for the box. So without further ado, let's just dig into the video. Right, so let's just first discuss aims with this shipment plan. As you can see here, I have a parent SKU here, which have eight different variations. And all of these variations are out of stock at the moment. So what I'm aiming for here is that I want to create a shipment plan for two cartons. And those two cartons are basically going to cover all of these eight SKUs uh, in the shipment plan. So, uh, so based on, on how I'm going to proceed, uh, you can relate uh, as per your case and as per the situation that you would be in. So as you can see here, all of these are out of stock. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select all the SKUs, which I'm going to create a shipment plan for. For my case, I want to send all of these eight different variations uh, to the Amazon warehouse. So I've already selected that. Um, select what you want to send. And from this drop down, click send or replenish inventory. Um, you will click yes, continue. Okay. Um, primarily what it's going to ask you for is to add the, the ship from address. Uh, I've already added a dummy address here, but in your case, since it would be your first time, uh, you would need to enter the address, but the address would be pretty much straightforward. You would need to have the address, the PO box and everything uh, associated with the address, and that would be okay. Um, now, like I mentioned before, that I want to send two cartons, and those two cartons are going to cover all the boxes um, for these variations. Uh, so here I would basically specify what, how much quantity for each color are, are going to be sent to the shipment plan. Um, so I already know what I'm going to send. And let me just add those units here. Get ready to pack. All right. So for your case, when when you enter these units uh, that you want to send at the end of, at the end of this section, you would have this um, option available that going to talk about how much stock. You want to send in as you can see here for eight SKUs I'm gonna send a total units of 220 units and after adding these details we'll click pack individual units now here you will be able to see the data that you have already entered for my case for eight SKUs I'm gonna send in 220 units and this is how they are basically set up for to make up 220 units uh, and for my case I'm gonna use two cartons to to send in these 220 units and one of the boxes is going to contain 120 units. Another box is going to take in 100 units. This is the data that I have from supplier. All right. So we're going to select multiple boxes will be needed. And it's going to enter confirm. You'll enter the number of boxes as per your, your case and click open web form. Uh, now you will be asked to enter the data of how the boxes are going to be filled. So uh, these details are important to, uh, to note down uh, before completing the shipment plan because uh, it is important that the data that you entered here boxes are are packed as per that so if we are entering 30 units of this specific variation in box one these 30 units in actual should go in that box one um, for for sending inventory all right so i have already planned how i'm going to send in one of the boxes is going to take 120 units so i'm going to fill in uh 120 in case for that Now it's important that you note down these values as per the boxes and keep your your box exactly how how you have entered it here so to avoid any complication and this is one of the mistakes that people do and they do find issues when they receive inventory at the amazon warehouse so it's important that you pack exactly how you you're going to mention as per here uh and the next step you're going to add up the details about the carton uh for my case since i'm going to have two boxes i'm going to enter the details for each of the cartons here now Under the weight of the box, in my case, box one is 45 LB. 
and box 2 is 37 point 37 LB so I have these details from the supplier um, and and as we know that this is the box one so I'm gonna select in the box one here as the the damage of the box and this is the box two so I'm gonna select in the box two here now all these details are filled in what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click confirm packing information and click confirm and continue and it's gonna basically validate SQs and take a couple of minutes to, to proceed to the next step Now it would, it would ask you to create, uh, to provide the, the estimated shipment date. So you can enter any random date um, and it's not that much of a concern, but for me, I'm gonna talk about, let's just do it um, Wednesday in the next week. Um, you'll select small parcel delivery here. In non-Amazon partner carrier, it is recommended to enter others because whenever you in the later stage you are going to add the tracking ID. So whatever the carrier would be, Amazon would be able to automatically detect it uh, based on the data here. So recommended to enter other here. And he he would see it will show you any other charges for our case as we already set up that we'll be prepping it. Everything will be doing on ourselves. So there are no charges here. So we'll click accept charges and confirm shipping. And in the next phase, they're going to give you the box labels. These are the boxes that you need to attach um, on, on the cartons. Um, and these are the boxes that will basically help Amazon verify that this carton is, is carrying these SKUs and this carton is carrying these SKUs. So the shipping plan has been created. Uh, we can create, uh, these are the print box labels, so you can print it from here. Uh, you can also select the paper type from here. I'm gonna prefer A4 size, but Whatever good is for you, you can select that. When you click print, it's going to give you um, that file that you need to, to use for the box. Now you can see here we have two boxes, box one carrying 45 LB. This label will be attached on the box, which is carrying 120 units. Um, and we have box two, which is carrying 37.47 LB. It is carrying 100 units, so it will be attached to that specific box. So it's important to 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 ask to your friends to accurately apply these these labels to to make sure avoid any complication. And at the end, we'll click proceed to enter tracking details. All right. So you don't have tracking detail right away when you create a shipment plan, but once your freight forward is going to ship in, they will be able to provide you with a tracking ID and once it's it's completed you can come back again to your to your shipment plan and enter these tracking id here and click save um and right so and that will be pretty much it um i hope this video cover all of your confusions while creating your shipment plan with this new workflow of the amazon in case this video managed to resolve your case please subscribe and press the bell icon and i see you in the next time have a good day bye bye